to answer this question, first we highlight the table, we go insert pivot table, check that you're happy with the area, we're going to say it's a new worksheet, I'm going to say OK. Now what we're asked to do is show the total duration, so as you'll see you've got duration here, so I'm going to click and drag it into values. You'll see it says count of duration, but what I want is sum of duration. So I'm going to click here and say value field settings and change it to sum. When I say OK, we've now got this strange number. We now just want to go and pull in our month. So you'll see there's a month here. Click and drag down into the rows and let go. So now we've got January, February, March, but we've, our numbers look a bit strange. The reason these look a bit strange is because this is how Excel sees time, but we don't really see it like that. So we need to format it. So I can right click here, go to value field settings and say number format. Now a mistake that most people make is they go to the time and they choose for example that one there and when we say OK it gives you something that looks like this but notice that 2 plus 13 plus 11 is coming to 2 that's because this is the clock format so as soon as it goes over 24 hours it goes back to 2 a.m. so the correct format to use here is actually under custom and if you go over here you'll see there's little square brackets around the H. So when I say OK you'll see it now formats it pretty much the same but now when it adds it it keeps adding past 24 hours.